Opening today, Beacon Beach in Encinitas is expected to reopen after search crews failed to find any sign of the shark who bit a 13 year old boy over the weekend. Yeah, 10 news reporter Nate Holmes is live in Encinitas. At least we're getting some encouraging news though, Nate, that that boy is starting to recover. He is. There is a large team of doctors and nurses looking after him. He is at Rady Children's Hospital. Now we're told that the boy's condition is serious, but he is expected to make a full recovery, which is definitely news that we've been hoping to hear this entire weekend. As of here at Beacon's Beach, the, the, the beach is set to reopen starting at 7 o'clock this morning in about an hour. It has been closed down since Saturday afternoon since the incident happened where the boy was attacked by that shark. Now, Larry Giles, Marine safety captain for the city of Encinitas says that they have not had any reports of shark sightings since the incidents and lifeguards have been continuously patrolling this area. Now signs were put in place to warn beachgoers to not go in the water and the beach was shut down all the way from La Costa Avenue to Swami's State Beach. The 13 year old boy was lobster diving at the time of the attack and lifeguards though tell us that the teen was conscious and talking while he was being transported to the hospital. Doctors at Rady Children's Hospital say they have never seen a shark incident like this in the last 10 years, calling it a rare injury. Now, a GoFundMe has been set up in place for the boy for his medical expenses as well as his recovery. We do have the link on our website, 10news.com, if you would like to donate. And later on, coming up at uh, 630, we will be hearing from the captain about his experience with shark sightings in this area. Live in Encinitas. Nate Holmes, 10 News. Thank